back into fog. I mean, you can't see 200, 300 yards away from you. Wow. But we made it to our favorite place to go <laughs> sailing. Really pretty blue knobbed whelk. Got some pits on it. Thank you guys for clicking back on the channel. It's Salty Reflections with Oliver and Stephanie Chavis. We're up on a beautiful beach today. A beautiful foggy day. We are doing some shelling. Y'all come along. Let's see what we find. Look at the beautiful colors on this sand. broken little orange periwinkle. I thought it looked like an orange little cowry to start with. It's got a little hermit crab in it. We have bajillions of hermits. Look at that shell next to your foot, dude. I think it's probably got a hermit in it, but it looks like a, a drill. It's a drill it shell. It is a little hermit yep. down in it. That's right, but it is pretty. It is. But it'll probably have a little hermit in it as well, being in this little tide pool. It does look. See his little claw out there on my finger. Life in the tide pools. Look over here. It's this little shell right here, a little pear whelk. And it's busted up, but look at the colors in that pear whelk. I love that. But teal. look inside of it. Yep. And I've seen the movement of it as we were going across look at right here stuff barely can't see it in this deep pocket right here let's see if this right here has anything in it. this is gonna be a cool find oh yeah oh yeah shake it out Ooh, look at that but you, oh look at there look at the pitted holes that. and we think that that right there is just beautiful just another part of nature how it got formed that way and that makes it special to us and one thing that i'm noticing see along this edge right here how it's not chipped or broken or anything but the holes give it character we love it there's in it see that that's pretty awesome So we've made it up through the, those little tiny tide pools right here, guys. And right down here in front of us, if you can see it, there's a couple along this bank and there's a big one right out here in the center. And we'll just go ahead and take the time. Let's just walk through that a little bit. Yeah. It's like misty out here almost. It the is misty. Is kind of, misty. Feels I, good, think the, I think the, the fog is, you know, the moisture in the air and that's why we're feeling the mistiness out here today but it feels so good it's uh about 75 77 degrees yeah the and nice. it is really nice down here in beaufort south carolina today we're just out exploring and truly thankful that each and every one of you guys continue to go along with us on our videos exploring exploring the barrier islands we love it Pretty little blue whelk, knob whelk. That's a matrix build up. That's squishy mud there. Back to shelling and mud locking.
pretty colors in that. Got the blue and the purple on the back. Big clamshell in our area. Pretty common. And look how the bank is eroding, guys. This clay layer. What about this little knob welt covered in oyster shells right up here in the mud? Pretty fine. And right up here I see another. Check this one out. Buried. You can see tons of buildup of oysters on it. Some of it just fell off. Give it a little shake in the water and let's see what we get. Really not what I'm looking for. I'm going to leave it sitting right up here, just like a display piece there, and move on. Steph's got trap on the other side of the tide pool from us right now. She's coming around the other way. What about this little guy? Pretty little knob whip. Lots of different colors, about four, four and a half inches long. Pretty complete. What about this one up here? I'm really having to watch what I do right now today, guys. I'm out here with no shoes on. Should have knew better, but I still wanted to bring you guys out here. Pitted old knob welt. Water feels great on my feet. Look at here. What about this one? Wow. Check out the size of it. A uh, little busted up on the bottom. Look at the width of it. Between five and six inches wide. This shell is almost as wide as it is long because I'm estimating that to be maybe about eight inches long. Cool five. Stephanie spotted a live jellyfish over here in this big tidal pool. Let's see if we can get a little look at it. There he goes.
So that's awesome to see one of God's creations, one of uh, the beach animals uh, out here on this beach. And look what Steph just pointed out. This olive is actually alive too. And look at that shine. Wow. In the water, I can see his little, I don't know if it's a siphon or his eye or what. I haven't looked I can see I him tucked in, in right there. So guess what? I always like to check areas like this guys because the shells get it gives them something to get caught on the crevices and the divots in the mud the oyster shells and it's pretty kind of orange and black striped keeping it Look, my shell pile is way smaller today that's only because we hadn't seen as much well that too maybe but i have left some broken ones i just left some broken ones right there you'll see the struggle is that i'm dealing with spotted something probably not very old but screw top bottom okay Oh, wah, wah, wah. look at this. Steph's found something up there. She's taking a picture of it. Let's see what she's found. Huge piece of the knob well. Pretty colors. You're not seeing as much today. Lots of stuff, but not really good stuff. Is this good stuff, guys? This is pretty fine. That's a beauty. What you gonna do with it? We'll put it right there. Maybe end up I love playing around with these guys. They are fast. Look at him. Let's get him. aggravated enough. This is pretty olive. Oh, that's a pretty olive. It South is. Carolina Look at the State patterns Hill. in it, guys. Beautiful. See the mountains and the valleys? gorgeous point intact and everything full of carolina beach sand and check this one up here and guess what guys a lot of these shells that we're seeing now we're going to be leaving I can't leave that one. I will leave it. Mm. Look at that one. No, you can't leave that one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that was going to be a huge one. But this one's pretty. That is pretty. That one is really pretty. Look. Come on. The view of it with the beach behind it. I know we're all we're on the beach completely but so pretty 
and look at him. How do you leave these little beauties? I mean, how can you be a saltaholic and want to leave all these things out here? I do enjoy how pretty they are, but I enjoy being able to view them regularly. I mean, my hair riding dirty. What ails you? You got twins. We got lots of twins in our family. We got twin shells. What? Yes, it I is. I was thinking a few minutes ago. That's the lace murex? No, this is the giant eastern murex. Well, look at the rose. Yeah, I know. Awesome. That is beautiful. Okay. Look at now it. Now you got me questioning. I'm that. thinking this one's a little bit different. The other it does one, look a little different the other one the other we had had a lot of spikes. spikes, and I'm thinking this may be what they call. I don't know. For God, some reason, this reminds me of a uh, lace murex. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why and the, the name fits. The... But look at it, guys. It's perfect. Beautiful. They, they do have a uh, thing. I don't know guys, y'all let us know. This is the find of the now. day. <laughs> That's exciting. So, can we get a big, big, big thumbs up for that beautiful sale, guys? Subscribe. Oh, look at this cockle now. This is like the traditional Florida cockle. Really pretty colors. That's a good example of it. They're pretty common here. Well, as y'all hear about our space issues with the chill, you believe that pretty cockle, right? That's pretty. That's gorgeous too. Well, it's turning out to be one Perfectly positioned. Little spider in it. Awesome. Look at this. We said that this was going to be the shell of the day. Now, which one is it, guys? Is it this one or is it this oh, guy? It's this one. It's this one. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at here. So, this is the giant ton shell, I believe, is what it is. I'm flustered right the second, so I can't even think, but it is almost perfect. Wow, this thing I'm is, shaking. it is about five inches across and about the same width wise also. Very beautiful shell. 
we have never found one right here in South Carolina. No. Maybe some other people have. If you have, let us know in the comments and please let us know if this right here also, if that's the, the lace murex. We're... These are awesome, awesome. <laughs> you won't be able to wipe the smile on my face for a week. Too. Oh, that's pretty. It's really pretty. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this black one too. Court of lessons that got bestowed upon us for leaving some. Look at these beauties. Beauties. I'm gonna pick one of those. I'm gonna take this. Oh, that's a pretty one with the little short knobs on that side. Oh, I thought it was going to be short all the way around. Orange. Wow, look how wide this one is, the yeah. lip on it. How it just comes straight off the point over really wide. Yeah. wonder if that's got to do with their age. Any of you guys out there who know that. from some people on Instagram some things about some whelks and conks. I know the lip gets thicker with age after they stop get growing to their maturity length for the other ones though. Right there's a pretty one. Really long point. Glad you didn't step right on that. Look at that one different color. Pretty sand dollar, a little busted up. Small hole right there, but that's okay. You're gonna keep it, right? Yeah, I am gonna keep it. Are you guys shell holders? My name is Stephanie and I'm a shell holder for sure. Trying to do better. I'm not really a shell holder. I just deal with a shell holder. No, I have, my, I have my favorite finds also. Yeah. I have to say that. I have my favorite finds, but um tons of these here. yeah like Is that this easy? one i mean which one of y'all out there would not like this is there somebody out there who just would not like this at their house i don't think i know anybody that would say they don't want this maybe not as many as we have but some people don't have one Wow, look at the orange color in that welt right there ahead of us, guys. Uh, and before we get to that one, check out the orange colors in this one. That's pretty. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome orange. <laughs> How about this one, though? Oh, that one's got some awesome orange. Is gorgeous. I would say the underside is prettier than the above side of this shell. What you think? Yeah, I've seen people display them with the underside showing versus the top for sure. And that, I mean, that's pretty. So guys, it's time to end this part of the selling video. Um, we're super excited that you came along with us on this trip. And we're super excited that we found what we think is a lace murex and the ton shell probably our favorite finds because they're not common to our area all the beautiful whelk shells that you've seen us show you they are very common in our area i know they're not in other areas but they are here this is the treasures of the day for us 
what would be you guys as treasures if you can just let us know you know um are the welts more common in your area would you find more of these these i mean what would you find also come uh over to facebook and look up salty reflections and come along with us and look at some of the pictures that we show you of the beautiful area down here and the things we find sometimes things that we find and do don't make it to youtube to share with you guys because there's no way to video your whole life um we just enjoy you know just coming out here on the beach and showing you guys because we know that some of you really love it and we're getting comments we're even getting messages from people and they're just thanking us about you know the fact that we are sticking with the videos and we're coming out here and we're showing them these things because they're landlocked and they've also dealt with the chrono issues uh that have been going on so the issue the videos really do help some people they are not for everybody and we understand that just like crab and fish and whatever it's not for everybody but we enjoy selling we enjoy bringing you along we enjoy these beach videos with you and we thank you for watching god bless each and every one of you and we'll see you take a look at this